What up? Nice to see you again. I took a week off, okay? I didn't die, I didn't quit doing YouTube. I just took a week to just relax and not do so much video stuff because I've been super busy. But we're back, and today we're gonna be talking a little bit about how to tail whip. But today I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit more on how to tail whip like me. So once you've actually learned how to tail whip, you've been doing them properly and just landing them. If you guys wanna learn how to do them a little bit faster and um, kind of do some of the things that I do to keep my whips on point. Because time and time again I'm asked, how do I tail whip better? How do I get better at them? But we're not just talking about how to tail up because we've we've talked about that before. We've already crossed that path, we're done with that. How to tail up like me, meaning once you've learned how to tail up, you can do them on flat, off the curb, out of a bank, things like that, maybe out of a quarter pipe at a skate park. Once you've learned how to do that, and you want to learn how to do them a little bit better and clean them up a little bit and just make sure you have them in lock and how to speed them up a little bit maybe, how to catch them properly, that's what we're talking about. So it's more so how to fine tune your tail up and doing them like I do. So to me, there's four parts to a tail up. There's your stance, there's your whip, there's your catch, and there's your land. Those are the four main parts of a whip and you have to be able to put them all together perfectly in order to make it a clean tail up. So let's talk about the first part, your stance. The way I like to stand might be a little bit different as to how you like to stand. I always tell people just get comfortable. Some people get comfortable by standing side by side with their feet. Some people a little bit more comfortable as like a ski style. Some people are like one foot over the other. Some people are just completely different than me and that's fine, okay? That part's totally cool. The way that I am gonna tell you to stand, if the things that make me comfortable and I feel like kind of gives me a little bit more of like the proper flick and gets the most speed out of doing a whip is kind of hanging my toe off of the back edge of my deck. Uh, I've just found that to be uh, really helpful when I'm trying to speed it up and I'm trying to like, let's just say I'm trying to triple tail up flat. I always have my foot on the back end there. Now, I will change it every now and then depending on how many whips I'm doing and of course depending on what I'm doing them on. For example, if I'm doing a tail up on a mega ramp, I just wanna do one. I'm usually not gonna stand in super attack position because I don't need to. I have so much time in the air, I can just do a tail up, float it, catch it, and just relax. So when I'm doing things like that, I'll change it every now and then, and you'll see me do that um, on these videos. You'll see me do them in person. Um, but if you're learning how to tail up faster, you wanna do multiple tail ups, I would suggest putting your foot over that back end of your deck. Now your front foot just kind of floats around a little bit. I kind of put mine just slightly tilted, just, just a little bit. Uh, when it comes to the actual um, amount that, I, that I'll change it, like they'll, they'll turn my front foot because of course it's not directly straight because that would be really weird. Um, it's, it's usually about, I don't know, I would say tw 20 degrees or so. So if, the, if this is fully straight on my deck, right? So if, if, if my deck is, is just fully straight like this and my foot's flat like this, which it never is, it's, it's, about, it's about here. About, about 20-ish degrees is, is what I kind of um, equate that to. Uh, I just feel like that's, that's really comfortable. Again, for me, your front foot, there's not really much that goes on with your front foot. Your tail up is fully your back foot, okay? And, it, and that goes for the whip, uh, the catch, and, and of course, like when you're standing and, and you land your front foot, that's where that kind of comes in. But you can tail up flat with one foot pretty easily once you get, get, the, get the hang of them. Attack position, front foot kind of floats around, rear foot hangs out the edge a little bit. That's what I do. That's what we're talking about, how to tail up like me. So now, let's talk about the whip. Now, of course, this is where things get really important because it's a tail whip. The whip part is the, the heart of doing the tail whip. Now, if you're watching this video and you listen to what I said earlier, you already know how to tail whip, so we're already past that, that whole part of the trick. And if my assumptions are correct, you're probably landing the trick, I don't know, I'd say one, one every two or three, maybe. Maybe, maybe you're landing them every single time, you got it down and, and you just wanna perfect it a little bit. Um, but the actual whip part, that's the part that matters. Um, and the thing that I've always told people is just get that timing part right. It has to be timing. Tail ups are not just done with your feet. That's not, that's not how this, this trick goes. It's all about kicking it at the right time. If you're trying to do multiple tail ups, you should be putting pressure on the side of the scooter when you're getting ready to jump. Because that way when you jump, the pressure's already being applied and you don't have to try to do it after you're already in the air because that's gonna throw off your balance. It's gonna make you spin a little bit. It might make you go forward or back. 
and it's just not gonna be right. It's not gonna feel right and it's gonna feel too forced. But if you're putting pressure on the back of your deck before you've come off of, whether it's the ground or the bank or a quarter pipe, before you've come off of whatever obstacle you're doing your tail up on, it'll start to spin right away. So then you really only have to worry about steps three and four, which are catching it and landing it, which those are the easy things. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm very much of a visual learner. So I'm gonna try to show you guys the, the part of the whip as, as well as I can. So I have the GoPro pointed down on my scoot. I'm gonna put my foot on the edge like, like we talked about just a second ago. And I'm gonna start applying pressure. So right now I'm applying pressure. It's not a lot, it's just a little bit. It's maybe like, I don't know, 10% of the strength that I have in this leg. And I'm just gonna slowly lift my scoot off of the ground and it's, and it's gonna hit that whip part, right? So I'm gonna demonstrate that on uh, this bank right here. So I'll drop in, I'll turn around, I'll come back and uh, we'll kind of show you guys exactly what I'm referring to. All right, so I'm gonna get my feet ready right now on the side and started pushing way before I was even coming off the lip of that. I started pushing on this bank, probably like 75% up of the bank. So I didn't do it super late, didn't do it super early, there's no need, and it's not a lot, it's just a little bit of pressure. So I'll, I'll do it on this bank over here really quick. So we're dropping in and pushing now. See what I mean? So it's snapping around really fast. I'm not really using my arms much. I'm using them a little bit, but not near the amount that some people that are learning how to tail up and trying to do them faster do. People think it's so much of their arms doing this and, and like trying to muscle that whip around. It's not a muscle at all. There's actually no movement in your arm really up here in, this, in, in like your triceps and stuff. It's all in, in your wrists. All tail ups are just in your wrists. Whether you're doing one or you're doing seven or eight, as many as you want to do, tail ups are here. They're not up in your biceps. It's not your triceps. It's, that. it's right here in both of your hands and that proper flick. So now I'm going to do a double and watch. You, you'll see the actual power coming from my wrists here. So I'm going to do it out of this bank again. So we'll drop in. We'll do a single right there on the hip. Like I said, it's just a, it's a really easy flick with that back foot. Now with the double, this is where I'm gonna use my wrists. So I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm, I'm gonna tilt the camera up just a little bit because I feel like you couldn't really see my wrists much. So we're gonna do the same line, single tail up on the hip right here. Now we're gonna turn around, cruise back over towards this bank, get ready and watch my wrists. It's very much, it's here, it's here. It's not your forearms, it's not your triceps, it's not your biceps, it's all wrists and a flick of that back foot. That's a tail up. Uh, okay, so now let's talk about the third portion of this. Now it's gonna be the catch. Catch is obviously super important. You gotta make sure you catch it right, to land it right. That whole situation must be on point. And the way that I catch it might be a little bit different than the way that some of you guys do. A lot of people tend to catch tails with two feet when they're learning, which is okay, like it's not a huge deal. But I like to catch them with one foot. I feel like catching with one foot gives my front foot, which is the one that obviously is not catching it, the opportunity to set down in the right spot. Okay, so when I'm doing the whip, it's coming around. I take, this is, we're just gonna say my right hand is my back foot here. Uh, when it's coming around, I'm, I'm watching it as it's cruising and I'll point my back foot kind of up so the heel of my foot is what's gonna stop the scooter and then my the rest of my foot can kind of lay down right and it's, and it's gonna have its own effect it's gonna kind of happen automatically because as soon as your heel hits that scoop as your heel hits the back end of that deck it's gonna flap down right so if I was just kind of go forward and slap the deck that's what's happening every single time so you don't want to go crazy. It's just it's just a little bit of an angle just so the back of your foot can kind of catch on and lay flat. Now your front foot, as that's happened, now you have, you've got some time to kind of see where you want your floater foot to land. And like I said, there's not a lot going on with your front foot and a tail up, it's all your back foot. So when you catch it, just, just kind of search around and just let your foot kind of be limp and just land on there. It doesn't have to be super tight. It doesn't have to be um, extreme. Just let it land on there and then 
Again, have all of your weight on that back foot because you don't need much for the front. When it comes to the catch and the land and a tail up, it's kind of the same thing. But when you are landing, make sure you do compress slightly. It doesn't have to be a lot. I don't bend all the way down and, and overly compress my knees. And I'm not in this position when I land. I'm just in a sturdy position. You do want to crouch just a little bit just to keep that stable base. You don't want to lose your balance or anything like that. You don't want to land standing super straight because you will fall and kind of do one of these because you're like a twig. Land sturdy, land strong right away, and keep practicing these things, man. It takes a ton, a ton, thousands. It takes thousands of tail ups to get the tail up right. It takes hours and hours and hours of practice. So don't get discouraged, don't get upset. Well, you can get upset because we all get upset, but uh, don't give up, you got it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching as always. Another video is coming for you guys on Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoyed today's. Don't forget to get any of your scooter parts over at www.thescooterzone.com. And until next time, I'm out of here. Later.